Maybe we'll get, oh, well, maybe we'll have time to go to Running Canyon. Good morning, New York. Um, LA. Oh, good morning, Big Apple. Um, no. <gasps> oh, orange. Windy City? Orange. Is it? We're not in Orange County. No, it's just called LA. Good morning, Aleem. So as you can see, we are here in the apartamento. We have just gotten the first pod, U-Haul pod, unloaded. And so we have my couch, we have this, we have a few other things. And the party's just getting started. And last night I was really, really sad. More so like shocked because A, the cockroach situation freaked me out. And there's a spider on my wall right there, but it's just totally fine. I'm gonna charge them rent. <laughs> it was just all very shocking. LA is it's just very different from Salt Lake, of course. Yeah. And that just kind of slapped me in the face last night when we arrived. It was just a bit of a shock, but I woke up this morning, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, the tank is clean. Feeling good and happy, honestly. And I'm so excited. I love this apartment and I can't wait to make it cute. I want to give you a little, little baby tour. Okay, so you walk in. Here she is. Here's the living room. You guys will be seeing like a lot of this, but I thought it would be fun to give you like the first initial, oh, a big closet there. And if you go over here, well, this is like one of my favorite parts. I love that. I love the floors too. Don't know what that is, but that's totally fine. A big closet, which is nice. And then in here, like everything is just beautiful. Like this door is beautiful to me. Nice little laundry situation. And I decided I want to take this that I used to use for my bathroom and use it for my laundry. I want to move that. This is the bathroom. Of course, we have the kitchen. And I really like the kitchen. There's just windows everywhere, which I really love. And I'm going to get like a little um, like bench situation or something of the sort because it's a perfect corner. Coming back around. Then in here is my room. I love that there are windows on both walls and this one is just so bright. Cool. Here's my rug. I kind of wanted to get a different rug, but necesito las ideas. Ahora, I should do a whole video talking in Spanish. I have been meaning to do that. For some reason, my Spanish has just really been coming back to me lately. And I've been speaking it so much. I don't know what that is, but kind of cool. Also, I got this beanie from TikTok shop. <laughs> I actually love it. It reminds me of the Arcteryx one. Oh, and Kiki is at our hotel and she loves it. Like, I feel like she likes traveling because she has been really loving all of the journeys I've been taking her on lately. My rug is on my floor. That's super duper fun. And I love that. Yes, and then I can put all my laundry things in there. Hi. Cute. We're on the second pod now. It's almost done. So yesterday I wore this Astros jersey and when I went to Alfred's Coffee, the cashier guy was like, how was your day today? And I was like, going really well, how was your day? He was like, it was going really well until an Astros fan walked in and I was like, oh, what? Me? No. And I just like played along with it, like as if I knew what he was, you know, as if I knew the sports floor. I did not. Cause I thrifted this in Utah. Like I, I had no idea what this was, okay? I just thought it was cute and I like a good baseball jersey. I hate to be that person that's like, I don't listen to the songs, I just like the band merch. But it's the same energy and that's just what I, it is what it is, okay? They cheated in the 2017 championship against the LA Dodgers. So the Astros jersey is specifically bold to be worn in LA. And that's just kind of funny and silly that I didn't know that. And I'm gonna continue to wear it just as a conversation starter because I don't watch baseball. I've never even been to Texas. It's just kind of fun and silly. Anyway, we're checking out of this hotel today and we're gonna be spending the night in my apartment for the very first time. <laughs> time to pack up, get our day started, and go to the apartment. Crazy that I actually live here. I literally live here now. That's so crazy. Okay, but I found a car lint roller. Oh, goody. Oh, that's my extra lock. Yeah. We're traveling. 
Yeah. Maybe it goes in this little section. I installed my filtered shower head, which I'm so excited about. I made a TikTok about it if you want to go watch it. And mom is unloading a bunch of my clothes and stuff. Probably going to end up rearranging it, but it's just good to get everything out of boxes. Anyway, now I am going to try to unpack the bathroom. Oh, I don't know why. There. Ten minutes. Really hey guys, we just got Dr. Sandwich. It's Middle Eastern food. It's so good. We have been tirelessly working and working, unpacking and such. And I have a very exciting call in eight minutes. And I'm nervous, but there, I don't need to be nervous. It's very exciting. I just am like, you never know. I don't know. Mm. <clears throat> it's very crunchy. Hello! Hello. Hello. Oh my goodness. This is my mother. Yeah. Well, hi. I'm Summer. Um. <laughs> Thanks for taking this call. It's been an excruciatingly long day <laughs> and the day is still going on. It's still, still happening. It's been a good day. Oh, and the call went well, I think. It was pretty inconclusive, to be honest. But I think it was good, and I'm glad I did it, and I will tell you what it was once it has a resolution and a conclusion. Um, look at my living room. I moved my dresser into here because I just wanted to, and I think it looks cute. What are you up to? I'm trying to get this out. Um, we made this, and it's just here temporarily. I made this. We've, we've done a lot, actually. Still have a lot to do. These are all things that we need to get tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going out into the world and purchasing the things and getting, getting things. Here's the laundry room, gorgeous, gorgeous, seriously gorgeous. And here's the insane closet. Hey girl. There's so much in there because my closet in my actual room is minuscule. Very small, as we can see. But we'll figure it out. Basket. I'm getting these clothes to put into my dresser that is in my living room and I'm just gonna have my closet in my living room because it just didn't really fit in here like I wanted it to and it didn't it just didn't look good to me and I think it looks really good out there so my entertainment center is now in here and I'm just gonna put like room things in there it just makes more sense in here I am so tired and we are ready to go to bed, thankfully. No bed frame. We will be finding one hopefully tomorrow. And I will be bringing the minky in here. Here it is. I'm so tired. Hi, sneaky. I've got to wash my face. I'm filming, by the way. <gasps> I'm gonna edit it out. Oh my god. <laughs> I never use these, but they are very nice when you do use them. I'm just a 21st century vampire. We bring him back. Where is Lahuti? Lahuti, Lahuti. I miss late nights in his mansion with his hot friends. Next on the list, we do this. We do a nice little overnight peptide cream anti-aging. Because we don't want to be aging. No, no. Just kidding. Isn't she lovely? Bruh. This lighting is gonna do it to me. Gonna do it. No, it won't. Ain't nobody can bring me down. Floss, everyone. Did you floss today? Did you floss today? Some people call me a spit cowboy. What does that even mean? What is a space cowboy? A Santa hat. Happy December 8th. I have to do some computer work, but it is 114. Whoa. And we have done all kinds of things today. I should just walk around and show you the things. But we had the fix it man, the maintenance person, come and he fixed my disposal because my disposable is broken. He helped the water pressure and the heater too, which is awesome. We went on a whole walk. I called the Wi Fi person and I'm going to get that set up in one or two days. When we came back, we've just been unpacking, unpacking, unpacking. And like every box is unpacked, which is, I think. I think it's every box, right? Well, there's one in your room that you have to go through. Mm. So everything is really.
really messy right now because I need to get additional storage and shelving and like drawers and stuff like that. So there's some things in, I mean, most of the things that you see are in very strange places. But I just want to show you that like all of it is unpacked. Yeah. This closet is just, here's my room. My closet basically just has like necessities and workout clothes and stuff. Good morning, New York. Here again in the apartment. I love it here. I barely vlogged yesterday because it was, let me just, it was a little disorienting and we were just going from place to place to place. My hair is red. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna do my best and take you along with us today as we go about our many ventures because we still have got a lot. The issue that we faced yesterday was my walls are plaster and so they're like impossible to screw anything into. So everything has to be adhesive. So that's been a journey and I have to get curtains and curtain rods for each and every one of my windows. That's been like the biggest thing and then today we're getting a bed frame and hopefully some rugs look how cute we got this rug yesterday just from target and it's so cute and i love it i'm gonna give you an ootd pants are from addicted and this belt i thrifted I'm wearing new balance 650s high top ish um this is dickies and this is brandy and then my purse of the day i always use my black h&m one like it's literally constantly on my body but today i thought go for this one it's Kipling. Whatever Kipling is. I don't know. I took this from my mom's closet a while ago. Off we go. We're here at Ikea. We're in the bed section. Let's look. Wait, I, I like this. I like this a lot. You just set it on top of drawers, but I think I'd rather have that metal. Metal one with the headboard. Okay, we're looking for like a metal bed frame. I love green velvet. I think it's so pretty. And I love how it curves like that. Canopy is going to like cover all this. Like whatever bed frame you're gonna get, you're not gonna be able to see it, but you'll see it, so. Mm. So for bathroom organizational, this to put right under my window, which is exciting. Instead of like a whole piece of furniture, that'll be good. Now we need to find curtains and hopefully a circular rug. The bedroom will be a secret until we build it. Okay, for the curtain situation, I'm getting a sheer one and then two like regular opacity ones. We talked to this woman who seems to be very passionate about <laughs> like interior design and passionate curtains. about drapes in her room completely on every wall. Yeah, she says instead of paint, she just puts drapes everywhere. I think that would actually look so good and cool. Like that yeah. look, would look so clean. And she puts her full body mirror behind her curtains so she doesn't always have to look in the mirror, which is awesome. I love that. I want to do that. And we've been here for what, 12 years now? <laughs> Ikea is a whole thing and we know this. Oh yeah, now we're in the rug area. Organizing. We're going to bin 40 now. Here it is. Yeah. Just need one of these. Oh. oh wait, no, this is white. I want the black one. Is it going to fit in our car? Oh. I just got so hungry. <laughs> Can you get it? Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Good head work and good shoulders. Thanks. Let's go sideways. Love. Women in STEM. Uh oh, watch it. Long time no see. Wi Fi is set up thanks to me. Thank you, everyone. We found two by fours and put them underneath the couch because my floors slant down on the corners on the perimeter. So the couch like goes back like this. And so we had to elevate it. The same thing is happening with this. Would you like to tell the people what your idea was? Well, I saw the scratch pad, the cat scratch pad that Kiki barely uses. Yeah, and we cut it in half with a knife. She used a knife, a kitchen mm -hmm. knife. Just a Rated steak knife. She did it. And we're gonna put them this way yeah. so that the this is tougher than just this. Mm -hmm. And it's going to work perfectly underneath the back because it goes like this. Yeah, slants back. So we need to make it up. I wanna show you my bathroom. I built this and I built this all by myself. And this we got from Target. We also got this from Target, but some of my things are in here, the uglier things. And then my most used and kind of cuter things are on this little guy that we just got from Ikea. I know it's insane. I know. No comments about the amount of things I own because I already know. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I get sent things and it's fun for me to try them and I like to have options and I like to try new things and I like to rotate products. It's really fun for me, okay? So, so Surprisingly, I do use all of this. And if I don't use it, I give it to my friends. Or, of course, I donate it if I can. But if it's like too, if it's used, obviously 
I won't. But anyway, this thing is very handy and I put this up. I'm gonna get another shower curtain, but for now we just have this. Since we can't drill anything into my walls because they're plaster, we're waiting on adhesive curtain rod deals. I think they're coming tomorrow, and so we have to duct tape towels up. Okay, so we've got a towel, we've got a surfboard, and we have an advent calendar that doesn't do much, but it's okay. I can't really see much in that one. Yeah, there's a plant. Look how cute! The disco ball on top of the lamp is really funny. I know. It just is so good at holding it, though. Oh, yeah. Also, mother installed the ring camera. We've got the ring on the door. Now that we've just set up the Wi-Fi, I can connect all of my Philips Hue lights and so I put one of the Philips Hue lights in. It's the light strip and I like to have it right behind my couch. Such a vibe. Different colored lighting completely transforms a space and it creates a whole vibe and it's just so fun and I just love it. Okay, one, two, oh, it's way too heavy. Wait, five, four, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now we do the other side. Bye. Holy moly. It's uh, not even like shaking. Yeah, now it's slanted down. Shoot! But just barely. We could just get. Didn't Whoa. You get, didn't you get risers? <laughs> Okay, here is the room right now. Forcing my mom to make my bed with me because I really want to sleep on my bed. We have my bed frame and then we have my canopy situation. And we got this red circle rug today, which is so cute and fun. We built the bed. It really wasn't that hard. Now we have to put the mattress on in my new topper. Yo! Mm, mm, mm. That should vacuum this. Hey, who remembers this merch? I made this when I was a Provo girl. Long live Provo summer. Okay, I got this cooling mattress topper because I always wake up in the middle of the night like sweaty. Let's see if we like it. Imagine a cockroach jumps out. I keep thinking that now. <laughs> Fluffing. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I ordered this very strange bed canopy situation from eBay and it came with no instructions and so it was basically just like a puzzle that we had to figure out. Mom mainly figured it out. <laughs> I don't know how. It arrived blue, it's blue, and it's very odd and confusing and we're finally, finally figured out like what rods go where. We've proven to ourselves time and time again today that we can do anything. Yeah. Here we go. Why is it blue? My main thing is that it's blue. It's, it's so annoying that it's blue, but whatever. Yeah, yo, another side done. It is actually so freaking cute. Look at this. There's so, it's so cool, but there's no rooms on the side. Really? I wonder if. Look, so you can tie it and make cute little bows and it gets it out of the way. And it's so cute and magical, except this is the ugliest blue and I'm. No, it's not. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. It protects me from everything. I am in my safe little bubble. I love this. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, and your dragonfly lights. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. <coughs> All that got me so excited. Um, When we were at Ikea today, I found these dragonfly lights that really remind me of this scene from Coraline and also just Coraline in general because <laughs> there are a lot of dragonflies in that movie. I don't know if you guys know this. Um, I really, really love Coraline. And the fact that I found these light up dragonflies, I'm like, I have to get them. I'm gonna put them up around my bed. We have to do things for our inner child, don't we? Okay, now the next video that's gonna be on this channel is a little apartment tour. It's not all done for sure, but I wanna catch up with you guys because I've been here for a little over a week now and my apartment has come very far and I really like it. I have been loving living here. So I'll see you guys next week and thank you for watching. And I know this video is kind of long. Let me know if you like the long videos. Give this video a like on your way out and I hope you have an amazing week. And if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas! Christmas!